Hi, I'm Christina. I'm a dosimetrist. I work in radiation oncology, and I take um, information that is given to me for a cancer patient that needs to be treated on a daily basis with radiation. I take a CAT scan and sit with our radiation oncologist, and the radiation oncologist will draw and define a tumor volume that needs to be treated with radiation, and I'll take that, um, that target area and calculate a plan that will only give radiation to that area but to avoid other critical structures like the brain or the heart or spinal cord and but still deliver the, um, the dose that needs to go to the target. I um, also sit with the, uh, the radiation oncologist and I get that plan together um, and map it out for the treatment machine the, the machine will take my plan and transfer it to treat the patient um, each day. At times, uh, I may need to have to go to surgery, um, take one of my brachytherapy plans for a prostate seed implant to um, allow that it is, the plan is implemented properly. Typical days are Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, with um, some possible surgery if you have surgery that you have to go to with a physician. The requirements for being a medical dosimetrist are there are degrees in medical dosimetry and I personally think it would be a great idea to have experience before dosimetry in radiation therapy, there's a degree in radiation therapy and most of us in therapy may have started in radiography, which there is a degree in radiography as well. It gives you a great basic background of um, radiation physics. The um, dosimetry um, background falls heavily on your maths and sciences, geometry, algebra, trigonometry, calculus, which leads you into the radiation physics um, in your radi radiography or radiation therapy background. Um, it is very important to um, have your basic math, mathematics background and understanding uh, in a three-dimensional image to um, calculate these dosimetry plans. Um, there's a good website you can find the definition for a dosimetrist at www.medicaldosimetry.org and it will explain a lot of the different nuances of the specific uh, definition of a dosimetrist and some other avenues in schooling across the country that, that will connect you to their, their links. In order to get your national certification in dosimetry, there are different steps that have to be taken. The field is moving towards, before you're able to sit for your national boards, you have to have two or three years of working in dosimetry full-time under a physicist and radiation oncologist, but you also, it's, the field is moving towards, you also have to have formal training at a formal medical dosimetry program, which there's more information, details on the website that I just listed. Um, otherwise, it would be um, great to have the radiation therapy background. Some of the schools are a little bit different, whether it's one year to be in the school versus two years to be in their schooling. So. Check out the website and you'll get some more information. I think the best thing about what I do is, of course, we get to help people and get to help patients and get their, their cancer treated. But with the way the field is advancing with all of the different mechanical equipment, we're able to deliver higher dose radiation to the, the tumor and still spare the structures around that tumor um, and, and not give them any kind of critical dose. Um, it's very rewarding to see our, our patients um, come back, you know, five, ten years later and they're doing fantastic and they have less side effects than, than with just ten to twenty years ago. Um, it is very rewarding to sit with the doctors and understand the different uh, tumor cells and the things that are going on with the patient and to know that we can help them and um, get them treated and help them through their journey. The worst thing I think about it is uh, it's very stressful. You, you've got a lot of responsibility on your shoulders to get the plan and, and get 
the best dose that you can to the patient without making any errors, of course. Uh, our quality assurance and double checking one another um, helps in that manner. My advice would be to keep your GPA up starting off in high school before you graduate. If you like math and sciences, this is actually an avenue that you could utilize in your future profession. And I think that if you have radiation therapy background as a benefit clinically in this field, um, if you would like to research the dosimetry occupation, go to the website and look at it. You, you'd have to research it a little bit more. You may have to relocate to go to different training programs. But if you have a love of, of mathematics, then this is a field that you could go into and be happy with.